Welcome back. The Los Angeles Lightning professional basketball team hosts the Phoenix Red Rock Raptors this Saturday night at Cal Lutheran University in Thousand Oaks. The Lightning are loaded with former NBA players this season. One of them, Joaquin Hawkins, is loving life with his new team for one simple reason. Hawkins is lucky to still have life. It was New Year's Day 2008. Joaquin Hawkins was in an Australian hotel room waiting to take a flight with his pro team. That's when something went terribly wrong. I woke up one morning like I normally do, going to brush my teeth, and all of a sudden um, I couldn't feel anything on my right arm. And I'm just like, wow, what's going on? And I felt a little nauseated, so I went to lay down. And um, like a couple minutes afterwards, I couldn't feel my right arm at all. Hawkins' condition worsened by the minute. I stood up and um, went to go look in the mirror to see if my face would be figured or anything, um, and it was. As I smiled, I saw my right side kind of sagging, and I knew something was wrong. Within 10 minutes of seeing his face disfigured, Joaquin Hawkins couldn't walk or talk. And as I went to stand, stand back up to go uh, see if my face was still disfigured, um, I didn't have no balance at all. My whole right side was completely numb, I couldn't feel anything, and I was like, that was terrifying. When his coach finally learned of his condition, he thought Hawkins was dehydrated. Instead of seeking medical attention, Joaquin was told to get ready for the team's plane ride. With the help of his roommate and other teammates, Hawkins got on the plane for a two-hour trip. He just told me, you know, well, we have an air airplane ride, so we can't take you to the doctor right now. And besides, you're probably dehydrated, so I didn't have no choice. When the team arrived at its destination in Australia, Hawkins was finally taken to a hospital where he was administered an IV for dehydration. No neurological tests were performed. More than 24 hours later, Hawkins could no longer hear. He went to a second hospital where it was learned he had suffered a stroke more than two days earlier. It was a miracle, according to one of the doctors, that Hawkins was still alive, especially after taking a two-hour plane ride. You could have died. Basically, I could have. Uh, you know, I kind of get emotional now just, just thinking about it, but, uh, excuse me. But, <clears throat> but God was with me. Fortunately, Joaquin Hawkins was treated properly and has now made a full recovery. He played at Long Beach State and eventually with the Houston Rockets. Today, Joaquin is loving life with the Los Angeles Lightning. Great story, Jerry. Yeah, and Joaquin is not only playing basketball with the Lightning, you guys, he is also working with the American Stroke Association now to, uh, for uh, stroke awareness. And, and they say you really have like three hours once the symptoms uh, surface. This is And it's important to know when they first surface. Absolutely. So, yeah. This is two and a half days after he suffered a stroke. And, and, and he's an exciting player to watch, so people should get down there to Cal Lutheran and watch him and the rest of the guys. All right, Jerry. Inspiring. Thank Thanks, Jerry.